what, what okay. were you doing over there? <laughs> Not for ourselves alone. Okay. You were like, ready? Oh, oh, oh. Three. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. N not for ourselves. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, count me out. Right. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Not, not for ourselves, ourselves alone. alone. Absolutely. This is not for ourselves alone. It seems to me that we are alive during a time of great transformation and a really pivotal time in our nation's history of awakening. With so much that's going on in the world that's so tragic and so sad, uh, compounded by people's individual issues and, and challenges, there is a great need for comfort and solace. This church was filled to the rafters. People were lined up to the back wall in Nathan Johnson Hall. And everybody had the same look on their face. Every one of those people was longing. They were looking for something. And they came to this church the Sunday after 9-11 because they knew it could offer that to them. Uh, certainly after the election, we had a lot of people who have been living more individual lives, but then realized, I need to be part of a community that's going to respond to what's happening in the world. I remember waking up the next day with a huge sense of dread and foreboding, but also an incredible sense of clarity about the role of my work, the role of University Unitarian Church. UUC is a home for many people because it's a place where they're seen uh, and valued for, for who they are. I think that there's something really meaningful about this that sort of takes religion that's so often one thing, and then just kind of, in a way, turns it on its head and still has the spiritual aspect of it. There's no dogma, and it's probably more accepting than anywhere else you could go. So if you know the show Cheers, okay, this to me is like Cheers, where I come and people know my name, they know my story, they're learning my story. They know my kids, they've watched them grow up. We have cried together in grief, and we have cried together in joy. And to be part of a community like that, where we are getting older and wiser together, is really, really unique and special in my life. I think it's so easy to just be caught up in, I call it anxious striving, just getting more done, checking more things off the to-do list but not thinking about why, why are you doing what you're doing and are you doing things that are of value and that, that are going to, at the end of your life, make you feel that you've made a meaningful contribution. I look out on Sunday mornings and I have felt this way from the first Sunday that we have not yet begun to tap our potential. Not for ourselves alone. And I looked at that and I thought, really, that is the whole point, or should be, of religion. Um, that what we do is not just for our own immediate, a comfort or gratification, but that we are indebted to those who went before us and, and we have to, again, pay it forward and, and leave it more sustainable than maybe we even found it. And so I see this as an incredible opportunity to invest in the future, to imagine what if, and to just take a leap of faith and um, believe that investing in our future community will lead to abundance and it will lead to greater transformation. I am incredibly hopeful that the, you know, this adventure that we're going on is going to allow us to grow and change into a community for the 21st century. Now is the time to do something big uh, that will influence the community for a couple generations. What's needed in this world, in this time, to move humanity forward. To get on the map, to be even more welcoming and have people notice us. To be on the forefront of progressive religion around advocacy. I believe that we are growing up 
We have all the opportunity. We have everything people are looking for. We just have to get the word out and get them in this place because once they're here, then they're going to find it to be home. I have been overwhelmed by people's generosity uh, and, and their joy in being generous. It's amazing to me. Um, to a one, everyone has said, this is the right time to do this. We need to do this. This place needs to be here. I can help you. I am really happy to help you uh, make this happen. My prayer is that we can be part um, and partners in this awakening and the shifting that is happening. I mean, truly, not only is this church pregnant with possibility, this moment is pregnant with possibility.